I usually build my own systems, however, this DS920 Plus was much cheaper when figuring things up at this size than building new, used may be much different. The only thing I wish this had built in was 10 gigabits Ethernet. I am able to basically get line speed at 1 gigabit doing file transfers to and from this with 4.8 TB Seagate drives in SHR1. The NAS CPU was sitting at 50% while transcoding 1080p, with subtitles, while doing a parity check and updating, installing a bunch of packages. It wasn't even breaking a sweat. There are some things to be aware of at the time of this writing. 1. If you are using Plex on this, there is an extra step to enable the hardware encoding, even with the hardware encoding checkbox checked. I guess, since this NAS is so new, July 13, 2020, at the moment, the current releases have not caught up to it yet. Following the instructions others found to enable hardware transcoding worked for me. Search for, Reddit Plex DS920 transcoding, and you will find it. If you don't want to do this fix, I suspect the issue will be remedied in later Plex package updates for this model. Plex's current NAS guide at the time of this writing says, Evaluating. 2. The Synology Package Manager apparently does not list all the items available in third-party package repositories. There is a flag that they did not set in their OS. Not sure if there is an ADA on when that will be fixed, I am assuming it will be at some point. 3. There are some guides online that have tested 16GB RAM modules with success in this, for a total of 20GB with 4GB onboard. If you are looking to upgrade the RAM, this looks very promising. Otherwise, I am happy with it this purchase so far. Yes, this NAS can do a lot more than just being a Plex server and a file server, but that's all I am using at this moment. I will update this review if I start adding significantly more features to the NAS. First of all, even with a Celeron processor, it has no problems transcoding 4K video in real time for display on other devices through Plex. When transcoding 4K to my iPhone XR, the CPU usage was around 5%. That means this little NAS could likely handle multiple 4K transcoding streams at once. Probably limited more by network bandwidth than CPU power. This is likely because this is a very recent Celeron that just came out in the fourth quarter of 2019. The one thing that really surprised me was the quality of its user interface. It is web-based, but if you put it in full screen in your browser, it looks like, and works like, Linux. Click link in description for purchase and more reviews.